I'm Rachel Ballinger and I test things so you don't have to, or sometimes I do other things. But today I am testing electronics that are apparently extremely useful in life, says the internet, Buzzfeed and TikTok. You wanna see what they are? Let's check them out. First, we have the short video and music remote controller. It's a little thing you put on your finger and you connect to your phone and then you go, next TikTok, next TikTok. Next back, I've seen that, next TikTok. <laughs> it scrolls through social media for you. Another one up is a switch bot. It's a tiny little thing you put next to a switch of some sort and then you can control the switch with your phone. So you go click and it clicks the thing for you. So it can be your light switch, your coffee maker, whatever. It's a smart switch for a not smart switch. Thermometer you don't have to stick in your ear, you're under your tongue or in your butt or under your armpit. That's what I did as a kid. Where'd you stick a thermometer as a kid? Under my tongue. You did under your tongue? Mm -hmm. We always did under our armpit. Because I feel like under the tongue is most accurate. I've actually up your butt is the most accurate. Oh, well. Anyway, this one is a thermometer you just put on your forehead. I think that's best. And then you have a three-in-one portable charger. And so <laughs> when you go on vacation or whatnot, you can charge your phone, your AirPods, and your watch with just this charger thingy. I don't know, I'm excited. Because I have a three-in-one charger, but it's really bulky. I'll show it to you. And then lastly, but I'm hoping not leastly, the clear view toaster. It has a window so you can see how toasty or how burnt your bagels or toast are getting. Woohoo! All right, let's get to testing. Okay, did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. That's good. It's okay. Let's see my degree. You know my mom's one of those people that her natural temperature is one degree less? You too? Mm -hmm. So when she gets a temperature taken, they're like, oh, it's perfect. Psych, no it's not. She has a fever and now I know this. And she's made me know this in case she was ever unconscious in a hospital. I'm like, we can't figure out what's wrong. It would be this, but she doesn't have a fever. I go, wait. She does. <laughs> Here we go. Aim the probe of the thermometer at the center of the forehead and maintain a distance of less than one point one eight inches away. The width of an adult finger. Don't touch the forehead directly. 97.7. <gasps> You're dying. <gasps> Am I too cold? Do it again. 97.8. Come here, give me your forehead. Ready? 98.2, you're a liar. Do you have a fever? Get away from me. I mean, I'm a little sick. <laughs> Wait, come here, I want more accurate reading because we got two different ones on me. 98.2. <gasps> it's a hundred degrees! I got you sick in less than 10 seconds. It's on the way, idea. One inch. You gotta help me. Yeah. Get this one inch in my face and press. I said 1.18. Yeah, that's I did that. Oh. 98.9. This is 96.2. She's dying. Give me your armpit. <laughs> 98. It's bad. This is so inaccurate. Are we doing it wrong? No, it says aim the probe at the center of the forehead, maintain a distance of less than one point. Less than. Oh. 98.2. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Yeah. Okay, if it is accurate three times in a row. Yeah. 98.4. Okay, okay. Whew. My temperature's rising. 98.4. Okay, we're a little more accurate. Yeah. We're a little more accurate. You think it's like microwaving your brain every time you press the button? I hope so. 98.4. Okay. okay, so we were just doing it wrong. <laughs> you have to hold it so close but not touching. It also is really hard to get an accurate read. So um, I would say it could work for like a sleeping child. You just like want to get it so close though. I didn't do it. It's saying no. I don't know if I fully trust it in a life or death situation, but I would stick it up the bum instead. All right, this one is the three-in-one charger. I was really smart and I brought a knife over. Ah, oh, I hate it when I'm just struggling in life. Don't struggle in life. Prepare and excel. Not excel spreadsheet. That's really confusing. I don't understand that. Okay, here it is. Whoa! So this is your watch, your phone, your AirPods. And then this is a thing for it. Here we go. I'm gonna go get mine real quick and just show, this is, oh, it comes out so you can like see your watch. Oh, you have to do that because this wouldn't work. It would just hit her. No, that does work. You can also do it like this. Oh, 
Anyway, just leave me alone. I'll be right back. I'm gonna show you my three-in-one that I travel with and why this one actually is a lot better. Please hold while your call is being transferred to. This is the three-in-one I travel with. So this, I like this because you can prop your phone up on it and then you can, you know, see like you're, if you're sleeping, you're like, oh, what time is it? Oh, that's what time it is. Or you're like, oh, do I have a text, whatever. This one, your phone's laying down. So you're gonna have to get up to see what's going on. Do you sit it? If you're laying, I'll demonstrate one. If you're laying, you're right, you're laying down, and this is your bedside table. You can just, oh, you can see Emily texting me, I'm ignoring it, going back to sleep. With this one though, you're charging, right? You do this. Ugh! Now I'm really annoyed at Emily, because I had to get up to see this, right? So this is nice for this. I'm gonna keep this as my home, but for traveling, spin move. This is much easier to pack than this. This is very difficult, and I feel like it's gonna break every time I put it in a suitcase or a backpack. This is very nice. Let's see if it actually charges, though, because while it looks cool, it might not work. So, and this is not wireless charging, because this is a wire. All right, so let's see if it charges my watch. Is it charging? It's charging! Now my phone. It's charging. I don't want to get my AirPods. So this works. I will say it's not as nice to have as this for what, like a permanent thing. I really do like that this displays my phone, but this for, for traveling, I think is pretty nice. I'm kind of into it. I'm going to say this one is a win. That's pretty nice overall to throw in your bag. Next product. Does it look clean? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Is stuff still in the... Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> And that's like 10% effort. Fixed it. Perfect. The next up is something I'm excited to test. And it's the scroller doodad thing. So this you put on your finger and you can scroll through TikTok without having to sit there and swipe. Ooh, you know what this could be good for? The phone mount I gave you when you're laying down and you have that above your head. Should, can you go get it? Yeah. I think we should test this. So first off, okay, while she makes a bunch of noise, I'm going to hook this up to my phone. Where's my phone? I found it. <gasps> and I can pause. This is amazing. Okay, so Emily, I got this for Emily as a joke, but it's amazing. So cue me. I'm laying in bed, right? Here we go. I'm laying in bed. <sighs> Instead of sitting there popping like this, this is gonna be. Emily, this is game changing. This is amazing. And then also it could be use. I don't use my phone. Like I don't plug it in. So like I don't have a charger that I can like lay in bed. This is my charger in bed. So this is annoying to do. Like if it's, so I could be turned on my side. This is my nightstand, right? And I could just, instead of having to have my, I just do this. I'm dead. I'm so happy right now. This is amazing. Also I saw for like people who are like, are riding like on a bike or running on a treadmill. Like you can do this instead, instead of having to, this is so nice. Guys, this one's actually pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna link these all down. I haven't done this in a very long time. I have like an Amazon store thing where I can put all of them. I'll put that in the link down in the description so you can just click that link and it'll take you to, and you'll see the, these, these products because I'm being mind blown right now. My mind has been blown. It's not here right now. It's around the house. That's graphic. I'm gonna leave now. No, we have more products. I know the thermometer was like a little iffy, but like the rest of these things, get to it. Next product, this. I'm gonna figure out how it works and get back to you. Okay, I, I downloaded the app. I connected it to my phone. So if I touch the little bot symbol, That's what it does. So it's literally just a little arm that comes out. We're gonna put this next to my coffee machine. So I'm in the mornings, I can have my coffee machine prepared and then right as I wake up, hit, and it turned my coffee machine on. Cause I don't have one that is like a timer coffee machine. I have like a fancy one that makes life more complicated. Let's go. Hi, first off, the way that this would work on this is I can't stick this really here. <laughs> 
Emily Stein. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I really tried to hold that one. Yeah, it's okay. Um. Yeah. Anyway, the way I think this would work best is I'm gonna put, I'd have to put it over here. So, cause sometimes I need to move this and if I'm sticking this to this, I'm gonna need to be able to get this out. So Emily's just still continuously coughing. So I'm gonna put this here on that. I'm not on my coffee machine, which means I need to stick it. Come on, I gotta get it dry. I'm gonna stick it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see. And like, oh, I'm in bed, I just woke up. Coffee machine. I was too far away from that one. Here we go. Coffee machine. I can't, I didn't, it is no longer working now that I have stuck it. Okay, why isn't it working anymore? I tested this. I had tested it and it was working fine. And now all of a sudden it like, Emily. It's the solution to our problem. Is this the solution, Emily? All right, it won't do it anymore. It doesn't seem like it's going all of the way anymore. It's not doing it, hold on. You really gotta be precise. Nope, okay. There it is. Nope, now it's not because it was too close that it couldn't turn it. This isn't working. <laughs> eh. I can't. I can't get it to work. It did work. And now it's not working. This is annoying. There. It has to be right there to work. And then it'll brew my cup of coffee. And then I can turn it off like that. It does work. It will work. But can you imagine if I think I've hit it and it didn't? Like you have to test it before you go to bed. And like this can't move an inch. A centimeter. It has to be exact. This works in theory. It's frustrating. I don't know if I'm into this. I'm struggling with it. It is very responsive with the app. It was easy to function. I'm just struggling. Struggling! <coughs> <coughs> Snoop, I know this is your favorite product because bread is involved and bread is your weakness. It's not my weakness, it's just my favorite. Great choice. Get to know your product, yummy recipes, instructions, troubleshooting. It smells like chemicals. Oh. So, what recipes would be with a toaster? You can put peanut butter on your toast. Oh, here's recipes for Lox bagels, avocado toast, strawberry Nutella. This is just how to put things on toast. Well, um, I've never, I guess there's been times where I'm like trying to peek in to see how toasty it's getting, you know? So this could be fun. Emily, hold me. Okay, well, that, my, my bad. Um, okay, everyone in the comments, what number toast are you? What are you, Em? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a solid three. All right. Oh, I'm I'm like a four to five. I'm at four. Oh. I'm gonna say four. La 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 la. It's buzzing. It's working. Can you see inside of there? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. I can too. In case you were wondering. I've never watched toast be toasted before. It's fun. It takes a very long time. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Don't Will this give me cancer? The toaster gets to feel like the microwave. Watch it intently. When's he gonna toast? It looks so pretty. My other toaster, my $300 toaster, the smart toaster, which isn't very smart, and it doesn't work sometimes. We have to unplug it and plug it back in now to get it to work. This was only 20, 30 bucks. I think it was 30 bucks. Ah! I didn't think it was gonna pop because that's a three. Okay, it is way more toasted on the side I couldn't see than the side I could see. This is an uneven toast, everybody. This was the side I couldn't see, and I was like, okay, this is the side I could see, but I couldn't see this part, I could only see that part. That doesn't look like a four, that's a three. That's a four, that's a three. The window did me dirty. The window showed me that. That is different than that. I'm extremely disappointed. What do I do now? Why do you think you have curvy bread? 
Don't body shame my bread. She's curvy and I like it that way. You gonna do two? I'm gonna get both the heels because I'm okay wasting that. And then one I'm leaning that way and one I'm leaning this way and let's see how differently they toast. <gasps> We're doing a science experiment. I'm gonna put it at a four and a half. Don't do me dirty. I'm not gonna look at you in awe anymore because you mean last time. Scared me when I was complimenting you. <sighs> Be back once it pops. All right, you wanna cut it till it pops? Nope. <laughs> you wanna get me king scared again? And that's why you have a smart toaster. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I have a smart toaster, because it goes, Mama, it's a bunch. It's toast is ready, gorgeous. Does it? No, it just goes, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I'm gonna Snapchat now. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, you can subscribe to me, Ball and Ballinger. Subscribe to my public profile. What's your handle? Ball and Ballinger. Ball and Ballinger. Five, six, seven, eight. Hello. Ah! All right. How is that a four and a half? How? And both are cooked the same, whether it was leaning forward or backwards. I mean, it's toasted. It's just not a four. That's a good two to three. That's an in between a two and a three. Are you kidding me? You're lying. That's not a four and a half. That's a between a two and a three. So this toaster does have a window. Emily, just cough. <laughs> Why don't you go, excuse yourself, I can finish the video. It's just the outro. Oh, okay. I'm good. Okay. So this does have a window to see your toast not be toasted in the one part that you can see. The attempt was there. Maybe it works better for thicker things like bagels, but for my normal sized bread, it toasts it. Just you don't know what you're gonna get. Congratulations, you were a waste of money. Again, I will put my Amazon store link in the description where you'll find all of these products if you want any of them or test them out yourself. And if there's any other products you guys want me to test, please comment them below or DM Emily on Instagram. I don't check DMs. People say mean things and I can't handle it. I love you though. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday on this channel. Make sure you're checking out my vlog channel where I am daily vlogging, my TikTok, Miss Arballer1, and my Instagram, Miss Arballer, and then my Snapchat now where you can subscribe. Ball and Ballinger. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!